Hey, everybody, we're going to go try to meet up with Judy now. I did notice one thing, though. If we take a look in here in our cyber deck, uh, we have multiple variations of the same type of quick hack. For example, we just recently got access to this ping quick hack. I think we probably picked it up in the in the shootout that we just had. But if you notice, uh, it's a rare ping quick hack. So the duration is 41 seconds versus 27.8. So uh, let's go ahead and throw that one in there. Cripple movement seems kind of nice. There's a bunch of other cool ones in here. Uh, we had a weapon glitch, jams the target's weapon. We just picked this one up. Causes the target's weapon to malfunction, reducing its accuracy and disabling smart targeting. Spreads the nearest enemy within eight meters. Like, pretty, pretty amazing, actually. So let's maybe switch that one in there as well and see how that goes. We also picked up a ton of weapons. So pistol-wise, I still like what we got, but we got this thing. A power double barrel shotgun that just like seems super cool. Uh, maybe we replace it with this slot here. And, uh, you know, we got options now. Look at that. It's purple. What, what could go wrong? So we're going to go meet with Judy. It's going to be a fantastic ride. And uh, I can tell you right now, that's not my favorite radio station. Let's let's find something new. Let's go let's go uh, wild here. Royal Blue Radio. Hit me with those jams that you know I crave. Maybe this is just silent radio. Hey Takamura, V, I allow my tempers to flare. <laughs> and for that, I apologize. Even I can get carried away at times. I hope you didn't take it to heart based on his little uh, GFY previously. Don't worry, buddy. I'm pretty thick-skinned here. So I had to pay for it. I had to pay for the thick skin, but, you know, that's what you need sometimes in this life. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah, excellent. I don't know if we want to stay high ground or low ground there, so I chose low ground, and it might backfire, but we'll find out in about 750 meters or so. Uh, I think we made the right call, actually. It's a little... Oh, okay. Well, that ain't good. That's not... It's not the ideal way of starting the day uh, by any stretch. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to be a little cooler than that. We're on fire, too, so this might just be an early death. You know what? They're never going to expect that I would flee uh, a car on fire. So what I'll do is flee a car on fire. Whoa. This car didn't even have textures. Can I body you out of this? You know what? I'm going to need your vehicle, uh, sir. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Now you switch vehicles. See, this is a very, this is a very common uh, tactic on getaways. And look, it's worked. Now they have no clue. They didn't have any helicopter support. How would they know? What? This is the tiniest little... This is the tiniest on-ramp I've ever seen. This is my favorite time of day in Night City, by the way. So I'm just gonna... Just gonna enjoy the ride after hopefully finding a sick radio station. Come on, give me something good. Alright. Better. We're entering our home area of Kabuki. Back up. All right, you guys keep an eye on my totally legally purchased van. Looking for Evelyn. Ultimately. Uh, looking for Evelyn Parker. No way. She skipped town, it? it sounds like. Used to come around. Haven't seen her in a while though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. <laughs> she in her den? Yep. Cool. Take the stairs down. Oh, uh, Judy. What a sweet little face. Feast your eyes on me. Huh? Tell me, baby, do I look as fine as I feel right now? You absolutely did, ma'am. You absolutely did. Judith is embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? 
Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Oh, I kind of wish I could have overheard what she was saying. Said she wasn't acting like herself. What is this? Watson Horror Diary? Uh, this is, I think, a TV show. I've seen bulletin board to say Watson Horror. What a fucking... The Monday. What a fucking world. Finally, I got my ass on Ziggy's show. And right before I walk on stage, a fucking hospital somewhere gets shot up. This dick cancels the show last minute for a special episode about the fucking victims. Who the fuck cares? Is anyone going to remember them in a week? Did they spend half their fucking career to get on that show? No, they just fucking died. I got my ass on stage anyway. Let them know you don't cock block a goddamn TV messiah. But security fucked me up so bad. <laughs> uh, what with scrolled got corrupted or some shit. Tuesday. Felt fed up today. Made a move on town hall to protest the fucking disgraceful neglect of the war vets. Got my hands on a dress made of sin fetuses, or fetuses. Okay. Chanted my fucking throat raw half the way down there until the director of Wet Dream recognized me and said I was looking sexy. So I leaned up against an SCSM. Don't know what that is. Uh, fake choked on an air dick. <laughs> my ass. I could tell he loves pretty boys. He took my back. He took me back to. He took my back to his place. Chained me to his king bed and fucked me raw till I snapped each and every bed post. He showered me with eddies and already got plans to see him next time, or same time next. Maybe I can screw my way into his next BD. Well, it's one way of achieving fame. I got into an argument with Ruth Zhang. Uh, we talked about the normies who died, saving some kids after a nuke pop during some corp war or other. Call her a tough ass bitch on TV if you want, but she got all blubbery baby on me. So whatever I figured I'd say something nice. I said they were pretty Nova and maybe they'd want to be my fans. Hell, looking at old photos, I was like, it's a legit fucking shame. Half of them got bulges halfway to Denver. Real waste of good dick. <laughs> this is the most vulgar part of this is it's i we you know embrace it uh she just gave me a stupid smile and told me to fuck off uh thursday <laughs> friday christ i don't know which way's up i'm fucking wiped the boys brought over some lace shit or something but it hit me like a fucking fire truck i don't know what happened but everything smells like piss there's horse mask in the bathroom if i had to guess it was probably me who wore it and i got rode around my knees do kind of kill thinking about it now i don't know i just hope that it was the director from Tuesday, and not that skank from Apartment 3. Yep. Wow. 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 Stop telling every joy toy you need to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? Oh, this is Lizzie. I don't. Must it's be a, right. This is, uh... Need help. They come. Oh, interesting. Um... So this one does the ricochet. Uh, this pistol. Oh, look at the damage. And it's a tech pistol, which I love. Thermal damage. Let's... Let's... Action blocked. Why is the action blocked? Here. Hmm. Maybe because we're in Last a safe area or something? We weren't running a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Anyone could end up useful. Give it some time. They'll pay for themselves. Pay? Chicks can barely take care of themselves. Not when they're face down in the mud. But who knows? Could surprise you. I hate surprises. Surprise! You're so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guests. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. I interrupt? Sorry. You just don't give up, do you? Nope. Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. What was that all about? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity, classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside this is world? A club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Okay. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Okay, I guess she's not into the small talk. I do know she's reading Dr. Havoc and Radon. The, the, we picked up a book about that before. That's kind of cool. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. 
It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Dude, come on. I need to know who hired her. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? For now? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on it. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Okay. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega huh. Tower. Cool. Luxurious. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. Not such a hard ass after all. That's so cool. And I imagine we could have just kind of walked away. Oh my god. Johnny. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? You're damn right. Why the hell not? Okay, see you there. <laughs> Jeez. Think I just woke up one day looking like this? Not no fairy tale. Oh, hello. Safe and sound, Night City what Gangs. Hi there, it's your friendly neighborhood canine, Sergeant Dobbs. This useful little guide you're holding contains essential information on Night City's largest gangs. When, uh, where you'll learn which districts to avoid, how to recognize gang members, and how to avoid dangerous situations. This will actually be very helpful. We have the animals. Uh, they aren't real animals. They're freaks of nature pumped to the gills with strength enhancing hormones. Look more like piles of meat than people. They generally avoid cyberware with the exception of cosmetic modifications that supposedly make them look more like, well, animals. They're extremely aggressive and don't need an excuse to start a brawl. But despite their name, the animals are not a territorial gang. You can find fierce hostile packs in them throughout the city. You have the Sixth Street Gang. From a distance, it looked like they could easily be mistaken for soldiers on leave. Military uniforms, combat boots, buzz cuts, shouting oorah every chance they get. But don't let appearances fool you. They, the, These are violent, dangerous thugs ready to slit your throat without the slightest hesitation. You'll want to watch out for them, especially in Vista Del Rey. You have the mocks, handsome girls, beautiful guys. But wait, it's a trap. They'll reel you in with their charm when you least expect it. Bam, your eddies are gone. Or worse, the hole in hole in a wall that passes for their headquarters is called lizzie's bar best seen from far away and never entered weird place to be reading this maelstrom if you ever find yourself in watson's industrial area and it's better that you don't watch out for the sinister face plates that's maelstrom to be part of the gang you have to get your eyes and nose cut off and replaced with demonic fiery red optics ouch if they do that themselves who knows what they'll do to strangers better leave that mystery unsolved Tiger claws, effervescent neon tattoos and Asian motifs, katanas and shurikens, racing bikes. These are some of the trademarks of the Tiger Claws gang with a noticeable presence in Japantown. Ignore them and they shouldn't bother you, but do something to provoke them and it's Sayonara, baby. Valentino's golden grills, golden implants, golden crosses, and golden machetes. Say I hola to the Valentinos. Despite the Catholic symbolism, they're not exactly love thy neighbor types. Those who get in their way usually end up chopped into pieces and tossed into the Del Coronado. Then we got the Voodoo Boys. These predominantly Haitian gangsters are based in Pacifica, but they hunt their victims elsewhere, the net. Voodoo Boys are the most skilled net runners in the Night City underworld, but beware. That doesn't mean they're not dangerous in real space, too. Be sure to give them a wide berth, or you might just end up like one of their black roosters without a head. Got something Damn. to say? Say it. Uh first aid kit that I can read hey make sure you've got everything we need in the first aid kit okay yesterday I had to explain to a client that no really means no and when I wanted to dress up my hand it turned out we were out of bandages so yeah I'd be super grateful Mwah. Cat got your tongue. what the hell um hey maybe okay maybe she knows you know what happened Evelyn Parker why are you asking me you talked to Judy about her already. Yeah, well, sure. maybe you know something. You're the boss. You might know something more. 
Evelyn jumped the Mox ship a long time ago. And anyone not a Mox is not my damn problem. It's fair, I guess. Uh, so what is, what stat is that? Is that cool? No, it's reflexes. Okay. Where do you give the working girls a helping hand? That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot. Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first. Just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. We're running a business <laughs> now, not a charity. She's like... Can't help everyone yeah, with the present bra. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. I'm guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses its share of cost, too. Why? Looking to invest? Can nah, I? I'm just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by. That's all I'll say. All right. Cool. Hmm. Wish we could get more about that, but not going to happen. So, is there a way to, like... Because this sometimes happens where you have an overlap with uh, conversation. And, like, as soon as I approach, this is all I can get. I don't know if there's a way to kind of cancel this or get out of the, the conversation somehow. So that I can grab this stuff. Oh, there we go. The Undoing, Fall of the First Net. Chapter 1, The Apocalypse. His name was Rock Bartmus. Everyone knows who destroyed the first net. This, uh, the real question is why. Netwatch branded him a criminal and outlaw. The media called him a madman. Is either label correct? You be the judge. Below is a previously unpublished letter which Bartmus put out just before the release of Rabbids. Why has this document only now just emerged? Well, someone out there did not want you, my dear readers, to ever lay your eyes on it. All the more reason to take a deep dive into the information available to us, Maria Jimenez. The first net was supposed to save us. It will serve the platform for those without a voice. It would offer unlimited knowledge to those who hungered for it. It would bring a fractured humanity closer together than ever before in our history. But these hopes were hollow and false. That sounds kind of like what we have now. The net spread its tendrils around the globe faster than anyone could have predicted. Before anyone could have ever considered the full range of consequences, this information superhighway turned out to be our path straight to hell. We were robbed of the privacy, deprived of our free will, stripped of our dignity. It was supposed to save us, but now even the net itself cannot be saved. It was molded by the corpse with sharp edges, spikes, and traps at every corner. Think of the net as a stream of water that flows gently into our minds before freezing, swelling, and destroying us from the inside out. But remember this about ice. As hard as it may be, it's surprisingly brittle. One well-placed strike, and it shatters into a million pieces. Watch out today, and you'll just see what I mean. Cool. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Judy's Good shit, virtues. I say so myself. Is, are they talking about... Gotten virtues out of street dealers that were light years crisper. Congrats. Oh. No one cares. <laughs> Apart from Judy. Oh, she love your feedback. Okay. Unnecessary, but thanks. Okay, so let's follow this up by heading to this mega building over here. Um, what is this? This is talking to the cops, the uh, Wilson's shooting range. Why don't we stop by that? Eh, along our way. Ooh, Mr. Hands. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Okay. My name's V. What? No, pleased to meet you. I'm truly honored to meet you. <laughs> if you've got any biz, call me. Much better, thank you. If you call me to talk biz, I don't do chit chat. Well then, why even send the message? That's one of the first times we've just had a fixer kind of reach out and uh, 
talk about jobs before we just get there. So, the, talking to the cops, this is from the Barry quest, right? Yeah. And Barry had that tortoise that was like his best friend, but we thought it was somebody else. We thought it was a real person. We didn't find out it was a tortoise until we went to visit the memorial. Uh, and he's been acting strange. He left the force, but we read emails on his computer. And there's issues with, like, the chief of police dismissing all these random, uh, well, probably not random, cases. Uh, obviously quite corrupt. And my theory is that he's being pushed out of uh, the NCPD, but is basically forced to stay quiet about it. So we'll see. Okay, they're back over here. Can't knock or anything. It's you. You talked to Barry. He finally decided to get his shit together. Yeah, something like Cry that. Cry loud, Mendez. What did Barry tell you about his dead friend, by the way? Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once. He was the only one who could understand it. But yeah. It's nice to have someone like that. Yeah. Listen, uh, Barry has issues, you guys. I visited this friend's grave. Barry's in a great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny. The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Bad's life too well. We made fun of him, so we stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was Tortoise, his best friend, a memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck. I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. No, I'm actually not. Uh, yeah, I love to bullshit badges. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in Just my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about the tortoise like it was a normal person. I just think Mendez would react if Barry admitted that he was talking to animals. Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, but he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. You better be cool. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Oh, okay. Hook me up. Wow, not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Oh, cool. So is he gonna go? Oh, I went to the wrong room. When danger lurks, Come on, Barry. 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 You ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Yeah. Had Saw a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board. So it was out of our hands. Remember it to this day. That little kid's t-shirt. Green with this funny yellow cat. Get in. Holy shit! That's so cool. Okay. Uh, well, that's as much as checking on him as I can do. That Petrochem, I want to say, was probably uh, that second thing that popped up on his computer. Let's go over to... Wilson's shooting range. I think the second thing on his computer was the, the there was some type of 
I don't know if it was a chemical spill or something like that. Uh, hey, V, about to start. You, uh, you got to take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. <laughs> no, I, I think we're, I think we're good. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up, chop chop. Okay. Do I have to use my weapons or? Morgan Blackhand, Street Iron. In the age of thousands of target tracing add-ons, a smorgasbord of firearms with Kuroshi optics modules and other bells and whistles, let's pause for a second to examine an undying classic, Constitutional Arms Liberty model. Some people, or people sometimes forget that technology isn't perfect. Even if your device hasn't betrayed you yet, one day it will. The day you uh, will come when you'll have to pick up your gun with your own hand, aim with your own naked eyes, and pull the trigger. Old school. And followers of the old school always knew that the best choice was the Liberty. Simple enough to hammer a nail, complex enough to mow down a dozen gang goons in seconds. All right, lay it on me. Alrighty, how many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot him. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most <laughs> hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, small caliber iron only. Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers. Got me? First prize is a pistol. But, uh, a, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Oh, it better be. Anyway, uh, enough words. Worked up. Ready? Draw and aim your weapon. Okay. Oh, here we go. Three, two, hey, hey, the hell's that? The hell are you doing with that double barrel? Said small caliber only. <laughs> uh, forgot my iron. Must be my other jacket. And that's why you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight now! That's awesome, fuck, dude. June? Chill. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> See you Girls later, buddy. Before swine, for fuck's sake. Okay, I'm ready again. <sighs> Alright. Three, two, one. You gonna give me any targets? I feel like I'm crushing. What the hell was that, Lisa? Get your glasses? It says 18 out of 100. Exceptional. First place, Rudy. Second, what? V. Arrest you, Bush League punks. Learn to shoot. Get out of my sight. How? Hey, you okay? Something wrong? <sighs> Ain't a damn thing that's right. Contest didn't do shit. Didn't sell a goddamn thing. Oh, you Nothing. Oh, okay, okay. Try not call them potential buyers bush league. <laughs> Fuck! Good something you gotta respect. If you don't know how to shoot, don't do it! <sighs> Take care of me. So See rattled. You. Huh. I mean, I don't know how we would have got beat there, but I guess we can't be perfect. Nobody's like Wilson is, that's for sure. Okay, so we need to 
we need to head to the mega building. Is that down here? That's a mega building. We're here. Uh, we don't need to buy any vehicles. I wish those weren't marked as such. Go to the afterlife. We're definitely not going to be doing that for a while. Takamura, we're not going to be doing that for a while. Uh, so let's clear out this side job that's close to us. MS is one of the few diseases that cannot be cured by replacing. Oh, I kind of wish this would uh, keep going while we were managing our inventory here. I'm going to go back to the double barrel. Uh, the Lizzie pistol that we picked up. Now we can switch over to this. It's tech, so we don't have the, the bullets bouncing, but I love being able to shoot through walls. So we have that with basically all of our weapons now. And let's look at... I think we're going to go here so that we can get access to more doors. We've seen that. We've seen level 8 doors. And in engineering, this is like where all of our tech weapons are at. Fully charged tech weapons do not shoot automatically. That is what I want a big time. That would be really, really good. Um, none of these are things that I really want to have. So why don't I do this? Why don't we do... Well, should we get into crafting? Yeah, let's do it. So we can craft rare items now. If we take a look, what do we have? This is rare, but we are short on rare item components and epic item components. So we'll probably have to invest some time in uh, dismantling some of the gear that we're not using. Like this powered sniper rifle, I'm not going to hold this forever. It's rare, so I imagine the stuff we get from this is going to be better. Uh, yeah, looted rare. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Power revolver, level 12. We're getting there, but I don't think it's as good as what we have. So that can go. The Overture can go. This pistol can go. I think we'll just dismantle all of these. We're getting really close on cash to our jump stuff that we want. Should we break this Kongu down? I guess so. All right. This club can go. And then with our pistol, you want to attach a scope here? Let's do that. Technology. All right. The experts at Biodyne have created... Yeah, so getting these epic item components, I'm going to have to figure out a way to accelerate that process because they're seemingly incredibly, incredibly rare, as the name would indicate. Should we take our sweet van? I knew it. They're probably talking about me getting into this van. I knew it. I knew it belonged to some idiot. Oh, we do have a cycle? Is that where I'm going? Am I going to battle a cycle right now? What the frick? Look at this. Resistant to hacking. So I can't use weapon glitch. Wow. They have a bunch of stuff. Seiko's prototype tactical aramid breastplate. We'll just wear that.
Just like mid investigation, we're just gonna take all their stuff. Yeah, I drank with them. Didn't know internal had their eye on them. Not even a thank you from these guys either. What? Come on. Oh, this is Ko's thing, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna see if we can figure this out once and for all. Did I tell you no? The Arasakas are no ordinary clan. They're not even surrender yourself. Frick. That like net runner cop who's been standing there forever. Whoa. There's some epic stuff. I think he was trying to hack me from there. What the hell? Who are these people? So tiger claws. NCPD, drop your weapon and come out. So even though we've lost them, and I don't see like a wanted thing, I can't approach. Maybe it's cool now. Weird. I don't know what happened there. And I tell why you know, to make the Arasakas are no ordinary. They're not even human. Vampires, the lot. Okay, Cole. Tell their me everything bodies, you need to. They never age. But notice their eyes. Cold and dead. Their Gerald Winkler? exists only as cover for their wicked meat. To remain undead. I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his <laughs> oh, cool. servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation to return once more. Mark my words. Right. So Saburo is definitely <laughs> dead. Like definitely, definitely honest. dead. Such conviction. You witnessed his death with your own eyes. Literally. Well, it just so happens, I... Uh... <laughs> no. I did not. Ah, you see? You see? But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from so, Alpha Centaur... So, I guess maybe that's all that is, is every once in a while we can go back and feed him with a bunch of, like... Sounds like conspiracy stuff. We can give him more stuff to chew on, which is kind of cool. And then once that shows up, now we know how it's going to work. So, yeah. Awesome. Very, very cool. Um, Where do we want to go next? The mega building. We actually have to meet up with our buddy. Oh, Afterlife is moderate now. But he's going to be down the road, I suppose. Uh, where's Delamain again? I wouldn't mind just clearing up the ones that we currently have. Let's see what Delamain is going to throw at us here. Plus, we'll get into a zone we haven't seen, so that'll be neat. Oh boy. Good thing he got those barriers up. We're gonna put that thing out of business. Yeah, we're gonna be ditching this van, let me tell you that much. Dino Dinovich. You don't know me, but you will. Name's Dino. We're in downtown. Downtown city center. Okay. Yeah, I know. 
heard about you. Hot stuff. Mm. Need anything you call me. Remember, Dino knows everybody. What? So downtown Dino. By the way, you're welcome to swing by any time. Club's always open if you need a stiff drink. Electric orgasm. Can't miss it. All right. We'll keep our eyes up. He's looking to sell us a vehicle. Sebastian Padre. Come see me in my little parish and you have a spare moment. We can sit and talk. All right, Delamain HQ. What do you got? What lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass? You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Yeah, I mean, imagine trying to deal with an AI company. Something goes wrong. Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, Delmain. Hey. Uh, hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. <laughs> How can I be of hey, service? Hey, he was asked in nine. Yeah, well, now I'm in front. Well, now I'm in front. Is that a problem? Uh, no, no, it, it's fine. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's got into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give him any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Don't give him any numbers? Why am I here? You mind telling me why I'm here? To assess the damage you, sir, madam, have incurred as a result of the incident. Mine came out to 20%. Your identity has been confirmed based on a facial recognition scan. Oh, cool. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number I should have maybe turned seven, that off before, one, but I wouldn't one, even consider one, that. One, zero, one, zero, nine, <laughs> six. <laughs> Uh, well, Mr. my ride Hans took a real Jones. beating. I'm actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. My apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. Oh, that's wild. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Holy smokes. Special treatment. Not bad. Would you ah, great. if we spoke elsewhere? No, you. Uh, yeah, no, sure. let's do it. Let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. Hey, target not hackable. Okay. Please? I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. You think? Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. Why do we need a tour? And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I don't trust that. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, Look at the this. shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. <laughs> I'm still looking into the cause of network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. Hmm. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, I feel strange to be here. Control rooms are for Ganics. 
Yeah. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. Okay. What's with all the lights? All these lights. What are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones oh. can't take care of this. You're talking about the this lights on the... I fear. Human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Oh, this Thus, could be I'd interesting. Like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Discretion matters. Why? Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking NCPD or Netwatch? Both, probably. The latter. My legal hmm. status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Yeah, okay. Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. Oh, you sick. must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. Oh, I'm not even driving them back for you, so Del? Do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. Well, how am I going to get that? Oh, okay, never mind. All right, cool. I don't mind helping out. Probably pays super well. His overhead's not that high. So he's probably sitting on boatloads of cash. Uh, the Padre has a car. I have a theory that cars would please the Lord if he returned to our world. In particular, in particular, the tuned-up Chevalon Thrax 388 Jefferson I have for sale. A car so mighty and majestic, it almost makes you want to bow down to it. A great car destined for a great person. Question is, my dear V, are you worthy of it? Do some soul-searching, check your balance, and get back to me. These, it's very strange that these cars are marked like quests. Processing data now. Please wait. Find the Delamain cab in the Wellsprings. So... Epistrophe. Is, is he just going to lead us kind of like one to the other? I want to see if we can see our journal here. Find the Delamain cab. Oh, whoa. No, no, no. There's a bunch. So now we have... Inside of our side jobs, we have epistrophes in all of these different areas. Reestablish connected uh, connection between Delamain and his divergent forms. Okay. Tarot cards. Human nature is waiting for the car to be repaired. Fights when we get to different areas and different levels. And then uh, this is something we definitely need to do. So if we can, let's hit that. Where is this? This is pretty far, actually. I wonder if this is an opportunity we should actually... We should actually use a fast travel here. Not something we would normally do, but just because I want to clean up our side quests a little bit before we keep adding to them. I just think it's a little bit uh, easier to do. Uh, Yeah, let's do it. Because I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with the amount of uh, side jobs that we now have. And I still want to kind of tackle them naturally. But things that are just to wrap them up and clean them up right away, we'll do it. Looks like Regina probably has another job you nearby. Know, wild screaming at Tone Tants isn't headline news. Could just be some screamo band set rehearsal. That or something a shade more sinister. Yeah, so there's something nearby. Oh, Cyber Psycho, where the bodies hit the floor. Oh, cool reference. I don't need to remind you this is a Maelstrom hotspot. If you confirm a Cyber Psycho is behind this, please do try to keep them alive. I still don't understand that part of it because 
the last cyber cycle we had to we had to destroy so i'm not sure <laughs> that's hilarious Hey. How's business? How's biz treating you, Cassius? Lately, can't complain. Max Tech raided a black clinic not long past. That seems Since unsafe. Since custom accounts gone up and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. I got a free thing here somewhere. Uh... Frontal Cortex. Look at all these, man. Heal on kill. Instant resource 10% health after defeating an enemy. Emery boost. Increases crit chance. Yeah, see, this is the real score here. And we can get up to better uh, cyber decks. But I don't want to spend these, this money just yet. Oh, here. Tattoo. Tiger Claw's Dermal Imprint. Allows you to use this... Oh. Yeah, because they were saying that it was giving us a uh, tattoo as well. It's so weird. So that's... On my hands now. I guess that's it? Yeah, I guess so. Done. Uh. Hey! Hey, I'm just looking. Mwah. You guys like this car or what? It's probably his, isn't it? It's probably his. All right. We are going to head back to the uh, to the area that we were working in. I do want to go to the mega building. So instead of doing all of these along the way. Let's see. Organized crime. Many ways to skin a cat. Oh, you know what? This is what we'll do because uh, we got this job like... I don't remember where we picked it up. But it's another one that's just kind of dangling here. About um, stealing a courier service van. So let's do this. Don't mind me. This is much better than the van. Too bad we're going to be stealing one. <laughs> Jesus. It's a curse. Sorry about that. Hello. You're shooting. That's always a good sign. I could open this. But uh, that seems like a horrible idea. So as a refresher, uh, we got this from someone. Uh, this isn't going to be your usual gig. You're going to go to the Revere Courier Services facility in Northside, steal a minibus full of leather jackets with the Sin Leather. Uh, it's controlled by Tiger Claws. It's fantastic. So let's see if we can find another way in. Like maybe right here. All right, let's breach. Um, we're going to go. Can I link any of these? 
Not really. Maybe a camera shutdown. E9. 5-5. BBs. And then let's see if we can do just a... A ping here. We have an upgraded ping, so they should stay visible for a lot longer. Hmm. Ooh. He caught eyes pretty quick there. This guy's not currently looking. Hoping that that remains the case. Wait, actually. Where is that in relation to him? Actually, if we can get the screen... Let's go. Beautiful. You guys are all about their sweet kicks. There's the camera. Let's uh, take control here. There's so many devices. My god. Let's use these to, uh, to tag a bunch. I don't even know where this area is. There's us. Holy smokes. Okay. I'm tagging, but they're not all showing up for whatever reason. Oh, target's unarmed. So maybe we can't tag unarmed. Yeah, same there. That's the same guy. Let's hit that TV again. Oh, this isn't open. I'm going to take her out as well. Whoa, camera's back on. We took control of it, so that one's still fine, but... Let's breach here. We'll do another shutdown. Do 1C... 1C E9. Gain access to the van using the main computer. Oh, I can put him in there. So 
glad we're ready synaptic oh i didn't mean to kill him oh sorry buddy sorry about that that's our slowdown time thing that's ready now notice of expiration contract expiration additional services electricity high speed net connection unit specs freezer large locked with instructions do not open the 50 year old contract expired on 42275 the client has not responded to calls for contract renewal unit contents will be discarded at the landfill at the requested location huh unit 276-80743 i'm not sure what that's referencing welcome to n54 it's time for your local news place like this we might find a lot of cash from hacking these things violence continues to plague the badlands shootings have been reported among the one Nice. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Well, there's another one. Anybody up here? Okay. Hey, look at this. We've got an opening up top. Sick. Holy crap, that is amazing. To a ping. I see some camera stuff. It's not sure exactly where it is. Coffee machine. There we go. Am I safe to jack in here? Seems like it. Okay, 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 we're doing it. There's a real stress to trying to like get in here and pull this stuff off quietly. Um Let's take that. Uh, authorize via personal link or use. Authorize via personal link. And now I got to get into the van. What kind of messages are here? Important. Just got the leather from Bangladesh. As I was saying about these jackets, don't let any disappear. Make sure those slippery little cocksuckers at your warehouse understand that. Look, I know sometimes things go over there, over there go missing, but this is one of those times where they really can't. Those jackets are worth more than you'd expect. P.S. Say hi to Tom from me. My wife's still asking about that recipe you made for us. We need to meet up again. <laughs> Validation from Shaniqua, Washington. Logan, let everyone know that starting today, every driver has to validate their ID before starting their shift. If they don't, they won't be able to start the cars for security reasons. And on its way, uh, hey, Shota, there's a van on its way to Little China full of ingredients for all your glittery goods. Can you ask your people to keep an eye on it? I don't think it's a good idea for that kind of stuff to travel without protection, except for the driver. You're worrying too much. I'm not sending anyone. The point is for the van to just look like any other van. Protection would only draw attention, and that's the last thing that we want. Okay. 
Surveillance system. Bye bye. Now I turn that off, so I'm hoping. The crusher. You know what? Just in case someone comes in here. Did I turn that... Did I not turn that off correctly? Check it out. Nice. Um, I could get down by these stairs, I suppose. I really wish I could scan through windows. me that thing's already full good thing we put that body in there we're seeing it becomes pretty important to be hiding these bodies I'm just going to try and hop in there now. Oof. That thing is a freaking lifesaver. Information for new members of the Courier family. Welcome to the family at Revere Courier Services. That's right, family. It's not a word we use lightly here. We're here for each other. We're not afraid to speak our minds. No matter what, we stick together. RCS wouldn't be what it is today without this unbreakable bond. We're one of the best, most innovative employers in Night City. We value flexibility, ambition, creativity, and the ability to work under pressure. Combat experience is a plus. Don't forget all our employees receive training and the chance to develop their skills. Don't miss this opportunity. Important as a driver would be responsible for not only delivering goods at their destination, but all the safety and condition of the cargo. Loss or damage of goods may result in a financial penalty. Before you begin your journey, always check your weapon. <laughs> Okay, now what, though? Excuse me. I guess it's just the van. They're like, well, cool. Play. Let's play. Ish. They opened it. That seems to have worked. 
I don't know, maybe... Do we have, like, um... I wonder. Hold on. Bandage wrappings. This is all I have. Thought maybe there was, like, a... Like, a suit of theirs or something that I might have been able to destroy for take. A vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Fine. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Are you for real right now? North side's updated. That's pretty far, man. That's pretty far. Thermal. You cool? That's a we get a lot of street cred for that. V, a vehicle of mine went dark near your position. Yeah, you mentioned Fine. that. Keep an eye out. For unknown reasons, the coordinates came through corrupted, so I'm unable to determine the precise location. Sweet. Oh, should we back it in like a professional? Job well done, don't you think? A plus plus. Contract closed. Oh, I thought we'd get a little bit more from that. And then maybe we could get to that 45,000 benchmark that we've been aiming for. But I guess we found our new ride. So that's positive. So that's cleaned up. Let's just take a look. I know this episode is super long, by the way. So if you made it this far, uh, very happy to, to keep you here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tarot cards, waiting for the car, beats, psycho killers. So we're pretty much clean. Uh, there is a cyber psycho in the area. But uh, I'm not sure how to handle those. I think you just fight them. But... I don't know if there's a, a different way, so I'm actually going to do a bit of research to see if we'd actually fight them or not, and then we'll come back and maybe pick up with a Cyber Psycho, and from there, uh, we'll head towards the Mega Building and see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. Bye for now.